Welcome to the episode today. In this episode, I'm going to be reviewing the movie Little Women. Um, I actually just saw it tonight for the first time, so it's fresh in my mind. Let's, uh, let's do the uh, right, review time. Uh, okay. I don't know how I felt about this movie. I, I saw it for the first time. I, I watched the previews. The previews looked alright. It looked like the type of movie my mom would go watch. So... I went there, I was, I was a little skeptical, and I I don't know if I like, I don't know if I went in there with a different mindset. I was reading some reviews on Google. Some of them were like, I love this movie, it's great, I would watch it over and over. Like, some of them were really like five stars, I would love the movie. And then there was, or the complete opposite, which was one star, like, horrible movie, wasn't great, disappointed. And, and, and there was never a middle ground, it was always the two extremes. Um, so I'm just gonna tell you what I kind of wrote down. I, it was literally me and like two other couples in a whole theater. So I had my phone out and I was doing some notes while watching. I, I, I just wanted to, uh, I, I wanted to go through my, my notes here and then I'll tell you what I think about the movie. So, uh, let's go through the notes. The first thing was like the opening shot was really cool. I liked it. The only issue is they didn't really set any mood or location or time or date it didn't set any of that um which i found a little confusing while watching the movie that i didn't know like where we were because some people had like and, and it actually wrote it here some people have accents um and some people like try to do an accent um you know some, some people from england will pronounce vowels differently or, or, or ends of words differently and some of them tried to do that and then he just stopped doing it which was a little confusing um, and uh, it was really weird too so like they were using what I think is called old old English um, and like kind of Shakespearean English but throughout the movie they just didn't do it like as much or as frequent so that was a little confusing and it really took me out of the story. I, I was very confused about that. So, uh, yeah, that's all right. Uh, the next thing I wrote here was that the timeline was confusing. So the three notes that I have was like, like the first one is no date, no time, no no location. So I don't know what was kind of going on. The second one was the whole accent thing. And the other one was the timeline was confusing. It would like go from one part in one year to a whole different spot and go back and then go to somewhere else and come back and then go to this other thing and like it was jumping around and it was very hard to follow uh, for me at least it was very hard to follow um, and for a good portion of the movie basically till we got to the end the movie was very slow and it didn't really go anywhere I mean there was all there, there was like a underlying theme but it was very loose I didn't really like see it concrete throughout the whole because there was a bunch of other um, conflicts happening so it was very hard to keep track of everything it was I, I, I just found it very confusing um, again and then again it, it just bounces everywhere like it was it was it was it was kind of confusing for me at least which when I watch a movie I just want to be able to enjoy the movie for what it is rather having to like think while watching the movie I just want to be able to watch the movie um, the cinematography though, here's a bonus, was good. I, it wasn't bad. There's was some shots in there that I'm like, man, that's a really cool shot. Um, and then there's some shots I was just kind of confused by. Um, like why would they film it like this? Why is it color corrected like this? Why does it look like that? Um, so I was a little confused by some of it, but a lot, the cinematography was actually pretty good. Um, there were parts that were definitely emotional. That that definitely, I, I, like it was almost like a tearjerker, and it really like I felt it in my heart, like really good. But the issue is, the second you feel that, it's off to the next like side story, and that emotion like doesn't last. It like cuts off, and then they try to bring it up with another thing, and it doesn't match the level. So it was real. That that was really hard because I wanted to feel the emotion. And the second I started to feel it and really get it, it got cut off and we're, we're off to the next thing. Which I didn't really enjoy that. I'd rather feel the emotion. Um, 
so there's there's two more things here that I have to have to say is um, there was a scene towards the end. I'm not gonna give away any of the movie, but there was a scene towards the end where uh, where where two people meet and there's a, there's a little kissing scene in there and. I, there was an issue with it. There was an issue with that. With that how, how I would see it is, they they both lean in for the kiss, and right as they're kissing, the camera flips to the other side, like like 180 of them, right? So so this is them kissing. The camera's here, and then it cuts to here. But the issue is, so they do that. Like if you're the camera, right? The people come and kissing, right here, and then the camera bounces. So now the camera would be here, and instead of them already being here and kissing, it does this again. So it has this quick jump thing. That's like really annoying, and didn't feel like that at all. What it really felt like was, well it felt like this. Like imagine if I'm talking to you here, right, and I spin to the other side, just like this, but then this cut happened. And then I spin to the other side, like this, and then this thing happens. So that's what it felt like, and it kind of took away from that scene. So. That's a quick ex quick explanation. Um, and then there's one thing as an audio engineer that just made me so happy. So happy that there's there's a scene with an old piano in there and, the, and one of the characters asks if he could play the piano. And everyone else agrees so he's there playing the piano and the sound, the old piano sound, the muted kind of strings and not really in tune but still okay in tune and it felt, it sounded and it just felt and it was so good, so good. I could tell when they recorded that they definitely used an old piano. Man, I was that made me so happy that they got that, got that sound because a lot of times you will be watching a movie and it'll have an old piano but it'll be like a new piano sound. You're like, that's not what those sound like. It was really well done, very well mixed. I was very proud of that. Um, the last thing I have to say is the ending, how it ended, I was really happy with. I, it was really slow the whole movie and when it ended I'm like, that's how I, if I was editing and directing and whatever, that's how I would end it. It made me so happy. Um, so I think I might only give this like two stars, two and a half stars for an overall movie. Um, so I don't really know why it's in best picture, for me at least, I don't really understand. Um, but I, I want to give my honest review of all these movies. So, um, alright, I'm going to end this episode here. I'll see you guys tomorrow for, uh, for another episode. Alright. Coolest damn kids on the street. You and me, we could kick it all weekend. Baby, no sleep. Speak about whatever till the sun was in the sky. Swimming naked in the ocean while the sky was falling open. Hoping you would f me on the beach on my back seat. Listening to rap, so fancy. And every time you